Please welcome now to the Amish Morning Program, Dr. Phil. Good morning, Dr. Phil. Morning, Amos. <clears throat> it's been said that image is everything, and that the way a man chooses to present himself is an indication of what he believes about himself. If that's true, then Don Imus must think he's a 26-year-old African-American NBA star. Because he obviously feels comfortable appearing in public wearing skin-tight running shorts, custom-designed Nikes in colors a rodeo clown wouldn't wear, and a backwards baseball cap, which gives him a certain Spanky McFarland's great-grandfather kind of effect. <laughs> what the hell is he thinking? Them hairless Johnny Winter legs of his, like two raw chicken drumsticks wrapped in electric blue spandex, it's enough to make you hurl. Recently, he's taken to imitating the badass Kid Rock look. And one can only hope the latest Rupert Pupkin-like fixation isn't treated with the same painstaking attention to detail that's accompanied all his previous obsessive-compulsive preoccupations. Otherwise, he'll be tattooing a bald eagle on his back and contracting hepatitis C from Pamela Anderson because he's already wearing Kid Rock's hat. See, the I man's big on the headgear, and his trademark resist all has always been key to his rugged cowboy persona. That is, until a couple of weeks ago, when he first got sick and came to work in a black-knit cap that made him look like a cross between a cartoon cat burglar and Tom Hanks in the last reel of Philadelphia. I suppose the rock hat wouldn't be all that bad, except he pulls it so far down over his eyes, it makes him look like what he should be wearing is a hockey helmet on a short bus sticking gummy bears up his nose. You just don't care how stupid you look, do you? Well, you, you might as well put on one of them beanies with the propeller on it. Or, or how about a beret? Because with a striped shirt and that pasty uh, complexion of yours, you could pass for a mime. But you know what kind of hat we all wish you'd wear? No. A Lincoln stovepipe. Then go sit in a box at a Broadway theater. Aside from that, Mrs. Amos, how did you like the play? Dr. Phil here on the Amos Morning Program, quarter after the hour. Sam, what?